More than 28,000 Duval County students are signed up to ride the school bus to school starting Thursday morning, but it's still unclear at this point whether there will be drivers. Negotiations between the local bus company and the drivers union are still at an impasse. News for Jax has reporters covering several updates on the pandemic tonight. We begin with Joe McLean. Joe, you've been checking in on those talks each day. I have, yes, and the most recent word from this afternoon from the, the representative of the Teamsters Local 512 Union is that they are still working to reach an agreement with the local bus companies. And this, of course, comes the same day that we've been reporting union members are due to turn in their ballots with their votes on whether or not to stage a strike. The authorization comes from the membership, giving us the authorization as the local, as their bargaining agents, um, to initiate the strike if it's deemed necessary. We're in hopes that we can reach an agreement with both carriers for their safe return to work conditions. That was Rebecca Cardona speaking to me one week ago. She's the representative for Teamsters Local 512, which represents more than 1,200 school bus drivers and monitors in Duval County. At that time, she confirmed the union was distributing ballots among the members for a vote on whether to initiate a strike. I, I guess there, there's, there's a potential that the buses could be rolling August the 20th. There's Likewise, the same potential that those buses are not rolling August the 20th. Seven days later, and the union is still in a stalemate with DCPS's two transportation contractors, Student Transportation of America and Durham School Services. Around three this afternoon, STA released the following statement, quote, We continue to negotiate together in good faith, having already agreed on many major components related to safety and other matters, and will continue to do so until we have a mutually acceptable completed contract with the Teamsters Local 512 for GSA 4. News for Jax reported last week that the social distancing policy, bus ventilation, and the loading unloading procedures are the main points of contention holding up a deal, according to the union. Now, again, the, we're told uh, union members are supposed to be turning in those strike ballots uh, today, and those will determine whether or not uh, that the union can go ahead and approve a strike uh, on that would take place starting on Wednesday. That is when uh, uh, employees of the bus companies are told to report to their depots. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.